are back. Happy Carson's joining the table with In-Depth today. Famed actress and singer Olivia Newton-John has written a new memoir about her remarkable life. That's right, and it's a candid look at everything from her career and music, movies and television to her ongoing battle with breast cancer. And she recently sat down with Natalie exclusively. Natalie, good morning. You've morning. talked to Olivia so many times. Yes. I know you guys are tight. Yeah. We are tight. I absolutely adore her, as you know. And what a perfect way to celebrate her life, guys, and to tell you her story. Olivia Newton-John's songs, of course, were the soundtrack to so many lives, including my own. I followed her career for decades. I've been fortunate to get to know her over the years, and I consider her a good friend. And after reading Olivia's new memoir, Don't Stop Believing, You Will Too. Well, we met up at her home outside Los Angeles to talk about her life, her health, and why this was the right time to put her story in writing. I didn't plan on writing a book, mm -hmm. but then when I heard that they were going to do a movie about my life, I thought, well, I'm just going to write my version so that if they come out with anything that isn't right or true, I have my own version. That was the inspiration. Yeah. And then when I actually got going with it, um, it was quite an interesting and cathartic experience for me. While Olivia Newton-John was writing about her life, she was also fighting for it. At the time, she told the public and even some friends and family she was battling breast cancer for the second time. In reality, there had been another occurrence in 2013 that until now she has never discussed. And what a lot of people don't realize, and you reveal in the book, this is actually the third time that you've had to deal with yes. cancer. There was a time before which you managed to keep private. Yes. Why did you want to keep that? away from the public eye? Uh, because of the speculation, which happened the third time. Yeah. So um, I just decided I wanted to go through it myself. I don't know, it was just a decision that I'd keep it to myself that time. How is your health? Because I know you've had to deal with rumors and you even <laughs> head on, took everybody on. You posted the most beautiful Instagram message and you were yeah. glowing. The rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. It was like, you know, they were, they were telling me I was dying. I thought, well, I don't feel like it. I feel pretty good. <laughs> but, you know, rumors start and then it gets out of control. And, and I decided, no, I'm going to come out and talk about it because I have many friends and family all around the world and I can't call everyone. So I need to let them know that I'm okay. When you talk about cancer, it's always in such a positive way. You don't say you're battling cancer or you're fighting cancer. You say you are thriving and you are a cancer thriver and you are winning cancer. Winning over, cancer. winning over. I think, you know, what you think creates your reality. So it's a decision. You have to make that decision. You know, you can be a victim or you can be a winner and, and enjoy your life. It hasn't been easy, of course. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm human and I go through um, fear and all the things everyone going through cancer or any other difficult diagnosis, but it's a choice how you deal with it. So mm -hmm. I try to always deal with it in a positive way. Today, Newton-John is managing her cancer with both Eastern and Western treatments. That includes herbs, supplements, and medical cannabis created for her by her husband, John Easterling, as well as hormone therapy, radiation, and injections to strengthen her bones. She even recently received treatment at the Cancer Wellness and Research Center that bears her name in Melbourne, Australia, after discovering she fractured her sacrum. I got to spend the first month of that treatment in my own center, which was just the most wonderful gift I could imagine. You said that you yes. got a chance to just check in on everyone and you were in disguise some of the yeah, time. <laughs> I was in disguise all the time. I had a beanie on, glasses, and I wore a surgical mask. Mm -hmm. It was really, it was kind of interesting to be unnoticed and um, I was just one of the patients shuffling around in my, in my, in my gown hoping the back wasn't open like Jack and Nicholson <laughs> in that movie, you know. The singer hopes her legacy lives on in the center where she was treated, helping others on their own cancer journey and also through the happiness of her only daughter, Chloe Latanzi. Do you have any fear? Oh, of course. I yeah. mean, everyone does. I mean, we're all going to die. I mean, that's probably the, the hardest thing to accept as a human being is that we know that. Um, so I, I kind of consider I've had a gift of extra time. I've lost people younger than me, so I, I'm very grateful. I'm 70 and I've had the most amazing life and I've had, I have extra time. So whatever that is, I'm grateful for it and I'll just enjoy every day. And that's all he can do. Mm. Oh, she's wow. such an inspiration. Isn't Her she? whole perspective on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just really 
<laughs> gets you. Like yeah, she really say, I got does. extra time. Absolutely. Yeah. She considers every day a gift. She looks mm -hmm. amazing. I you know, you've talked to her so many times. Yes. Like it's, you know, you're your friends. Does she does she feel as good as she looks? You know, she she looks and she feels good. Mm -hmm. um, of course she did fracture her sacrum last fall, so she's still recovering from that. She's managing the pain right now, but she says she feels good. She has so much energy. We were with her for several hours shooting this interview with her and just experiencing a little bit of her life out there in California. And she's strong. Like, she is one of the strongest people I know. And I'm just so blessed to know her. And I'm just <laughs> so glad that she's sharing her story with so many people now in this book, Don't Stop Believing. Yeah. Love what she said about thriving. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I think that's so important. It's that positive attitude. Mm -hmm. So often, I think when you have an illness, especially, you know, when it's often a fatal illness, people yeah. do get it stuck in that rut and thinking mm -hmm. it's the end, but instead her outlook is, it's all a gift. Yeah. And it takes work to have that outlook, yeah. so good for yes. her. Yes, and by the way, this is just part one. I've got a lot more coming up okay. on Monday. I got to spend a lot of time with her. She's sharing some secrets with us here on Today from the set of Grease. Oh, yes. Uh, and also what she thought she would never talk about until sitting down with us, and oh, she did. Nice. Yes, all there's right, a tease Nat. for you. Yes, indeed, Nat. Good to see you Thank in the you, Nat. Thank you.